Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time stopping by, hello my name's Anthea and I create fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos. So if you enjoy hauls, unboxings, reviews, that kind of thing, please do consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. And whilst you're hitting the red subscribe button, please do make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now with all that being said, let's get on with today's video. So if you've clicked on today's video, that means you want to know where and how to buy designer fashion, accessories, things like that for a discount. So there are a number of places these days where you can buy designer fashion and accessories at a discounted price. I'm just gonna go through some of my favorite places where I like to go when I'm after a bit of a discount. Some of these places I have used and have items from them, which I will include in this, in this video today. Some of the places I've not actually used myself, but they are places that I will kind of stalk and have a look to see what's on. And I would feel pretty comfortable um, purchasing from them, even though I haven't already. So just bear that in mind. Um, if you do have any questions on anything that I show in today's video, or any questions at all about how I buy, you know, thoughts, and anything like that please do leave them in the comment section down below so first up we have the outnet now i think i've mentioned the outnet to you guys many 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 times and after going on to my outnet account um i bought quite a few things from the outnet so um one of the things that spring to mind i've got a number of things but one of the things that spring to mind is definitely i bought a pair of stuart wiseman um, are they called the Highland boot? I will pop them in here somewhere. Uh, I purchased them a few years back. Excellent condition. They were at a discounted price. But most recently I picked up an uh, uh, Alexa Chung cardigan from the outlet. And again, that was at a discounted price. I also picked up a pair of Chloe sandals, which I actually showed in a previous video. I will link that in the cards or down below so you can take a look at that. So again, these items on the outlet are actually new purchased new items so they're not second hand they're not pre-loved or anything like that they're actually brand new actual from the designer so if you are interested in kind of thinking okay you know, you know who wants to pay full price really just really we're all after a bargain i mean at least i know i am i'm always after a bargain so definitely definitely check out the outlet now i think the outlet is part and parcel of netta porter so i don't know i think correct me if i'm wrong this is just my my thoughts on this i think what they do is whatever's on netta porter and they don't sell i think they transfer it over to the outnet don't know that's just my guess i might be wrong but that's what i think happened so i'm gonna go with that <laughs> but that's one my number one um place so especially new items i would say the outnet without a doubt so number two, um, so those of you that have been watching my videos for any amount of time will <laughs> won't be surprised by this one. So the next place where I go if I'm after any kind of designer um, item at a discount is Vestier Collective. Now I have bought many, many, many things from Vestier Collective. Um, my One of my last videos, not the video before this one, I did a bit of a shoe haul and the majority of those were from Vestier Collective. Now in in there you had Manolo Blonix, you had um, Jimmy Choo, um, you had Gucci, I will link that in the cards and also in the description bar down below so if you're interested in just seeing some of the shoes that I managed to pick up from Vestia Collective please do you know, click on one of them um, but in this video I'm going to show you the jacket that I purchased probably about three years ago now and it is the Acne Velocity jacket now this retails for about 2100 last time I looked and I can tell you I didn't pay anywhere along those lines for this jacket. I will see if I can find it in my history and I'll pop it on screen how much I actually paid for it. But it was it was nowhere near £2,000, I can tell you that. The condition of this jacket was more or less brand new. Um, so that for me was just a win, win, win. And yeah, as I say, definitely, definitely check out Vestiaire Collective. Now I know some of these sites have not necessarily great reviews and you know it's one of them with these kind of places where you're buying anything pre-loved or used um, but with Vestia Collective if you don't know they do authenticate the item before they send it to you now I'm sure things slip through the net from time to time I've never had any issues whatsoever with anything coming from Vestia Collective 
um, but obviously you know not everyone's that lucky so I appreciate that there might be people out there who've had bad experiences with Vestia Collective um, but my, my experiences there have always been positive but if you've got any questions again just leave them in the comment section below and then we have number three which is a, a one that most people all know which is eBay now eBay is a little bit of a hit and miss um, what I will say with eBay is I don't mind buying on there if I Oh, well, I always use PayPal, always use PayPal with any kind of purchase when I'm buying pre-loved or anything like that. So the bag that I purchased from there, which again was probably over about five years ago, was this um, Louis Vuitton satchel style bag. And it's, it's served its purpose. I am looking at selling this just because I don't wear it as much as I probably should. Um, but yeah, eBay is definitely a good place to look when it comes to getting designer items at a discounted price. I did pick up a pair of Manolo Blahnik Mary Janes as well. Um, that was last year. Um, and again, no issues with those. They were absolutely fine. But just be mindful when you are buying anything off eBay because you haven't got anyone really authenticating anything for you so you do just need to make sure you have triple checking double checking pictures anything like that and making sure you've got an idea as to what a genuine item looks like it is easy for people to put different pictures on and all that kind of thing I do get that but again just as much as you can do and protect yourself by using PayPal and hopefully fingers crossed you'll be fine with purchasing purchasing from there now we're on to number four now this is one of the um, sites that I've said you know that I've mentioned that I've not actually purchased anything from so I can't say specifically and I'll show you anything that I have actually purchased from there myself but this is Cellier Knightsbridge now they have uh, an online presence and they actually have a store in, I'm assuming, Knightsbridge in London. I've never been, so again, like I said, I can't say. Um, however, their presence on the um, internet and like social media is always fantastic. They have some, other, some really nice stuff, I will say. And um, I've seen a few other influencers use them, mention them, that kind of thing. So I would say the prices aren't as cheap I will say that there is no negotiation. So with Vestia Collective, you are able to negotiate prices, so make an offer at a lower price or what have you to try and get a better deal. Whereas when it comes to the Cellier um, team or website, I don't think that you have that option. It's whatever the price is you're expected to pay. And um, so, it, like I say, it, it depends on what your pockets say, <laughs> if you can afford to kind of go all hog. But at the same time, they are at a discounted price. They're not full retail price. However, just so that you know, you do need to be just be mind, be mindful that um, you aren't able to kind of do any kind of bartering like you would be able to do on say eBay and Vestia Collective. But it's definitely worth taking a look at their website or even if you're in London going into store and have a little bit of a wander, wander around. But as I say, they do have some really beautiful, beautiful things there. And then number five, similarly, is Luxury Promise. Now, this is another um, website or, well, I don't want to call them a social media brand because I, I'm not sure if Luxury Promise actually have a standalone store. I might be wrong. I, I, if, I, if they have, I will make sure I leave the link to, to the um, website in the description bar down below. But this is another one where, very similar to Cilia, they have um, items at a discount. They have a disc, they have, items that are discounted and not at full retail so you get that element there however similarly to so yeah there is no kind of barter or negotiation whatever the price is on there unless it's kind of reduced from their perspective you are going to pay whatever it says online um, at the time so that is again those two places Celia and um, Luxury Promise are two places that I kind of have a little look on but I don't, I don't I've never bought anything from them yet um, but it's definitely worth keeping in mind if you are after a specific bag or shoes or anything and um, take a look over at those two websites um, or even just follow them on social media as well because they tend to show a lot on their stories as well and what I will say the, the, the stuff sounds like, like that literally seconds it's gone so yeah you have to be quick if you are <laughs> kind of following them there that's what I've noticed I mean my, my pocket doesn't have no, those kind of funds but if you do that's where you definitely will get yourself a bargain and 
then number six is Designer Exchange. Now, Designer Exchange is based in Manchester. Um, they have a website and they also have a store in, in store where you can go in in Manchester Exchange. I think that's where it is. And I bought myself a Chanel reissue and I will have put that in here somewhere. And I picked this up oh, over five years ago. And what I will say is when I purchased it, it, I feel like it did need a little bit of help. So as you can see in the picture, um, it could do with a bit of freshening up. Um, what's funny is when I'm looking at it on the camera, it looks worse than what it is in real life. I'm like, oh, I didn't even realise that it needs any kind of DLC. Um, but I, I do adore this bag. Uh, for a good few years, I never wore it. I was a bit nervous to wear it. Um, but over the last year or so, I have been kind of pulling it out and wearing it a little bit more. So definitely check out Designer Exchange. As I say, there's a store where you can go and have a little wander around. Again, very similar to Luxury Promise and Celia. They don't really offer bartering. It's whatever the price is. Um, but again, it's at a reduced price to actual retail if you were, bought, if you were to buy it at full retail price. So just bear that in mind. So I will make sure I leave links to all of the places I've mentioned today in the description box below. So if you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comment section. So let me know in the comment section down below some of your favorite places that you like to go to get designer at a discount. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below. And whilst you're hitting the red subscribe button, please make sure you hit that notification bell. That will let you know when I've uploaded any new videos. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one guys. Bye for now. See ya.